Evening, everybody. It's uh, 7.03 East Coast, and this is your video number 1,338. It's your Sunday night first look at the futures market. And frankly, there's not much going on. Um, this is the S&P, and it's down 12, um, three-tenths of a percent. And after the move on Friday of 116, giving back 13 just or 12 just really doesn't seem like much. Uh, but let's take a look at the other sectors. Energy slightly lower after the bounce on Friday. Um, oil down a dollar 21. Heating oil down just under three cents. That I mean regular gasoline down two cents and that gas down about a nickel. So really not much going on. I was kind of concerned about uh, what the sanctions on uh, buying Russian gold were going to do. Um, I thought they might be a little on the bearish side. Uh, as you can see, we're up 520. Uh, we actually opened up 960 traded as high as up about 12. Um, and this is pretty close to the low, although, as I said, it's up five bucks. So it doesn't really look like there's much of an effect there at all. Uh, silver is up six cents. I was actually kind of hoping the silver would dip a little. I'd really like to get into those uh, uh, leveraged calls on the silver, the AGQ. Uh, copper down three cents. This one really does not portend well for the economy, but, um, you know, we'll see how this works out again. As I said, S&P down 12, NASDAQ down 34, Dow down 100. The Dow's been a little on the weaker side versus the rest of these anyway. Uh, the Russell is down 4, the dollar is down 13 cents, Bitcoin down 230. Ethereum down 18, um, and the bonds are exactly unchanged. So there's really not much going on. The grains aren't open yet. Um, so that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, you know, after the reversal and the week that we had last week, uh, this is just fine with me. Um, I also think that, as you'll see in tonight's letter, um, I also think that this market has a little bit more to go on the upside again. Um, I do like it here. Uh, it's really hard to argue with this chart as far as having come down, uh, tested the area down here, and started back up. I mean, this was a huge move on Friday. Um, and volume was pretty much in line. So, uh, you know, I think I'd, I'd be surprised if we couldn't get back into this uh, 40, 40, 40, 50, maybe as high as 4,100 in here if this continues. There's, it's not earnings season. Everything that was questionable about the Fed is now known. Um, I don't know what could possibly come out of the G7 that would make any difference to anyone. So we're just kind of in a quiet period here um, for news. So, you know, we don't necessarily need good news. We just don't need bad news. So, all right, everyone, I'll be back first thing in the morning. Hope you had a nice week.